So here it is, it's going to focus. Is it Asus or Asus? I feel a bit silly saying Asus. It sounds like Anus. Asus Transformer Book uh, T100 HA. I've, um, I've used a T100 um, for about two years now. And it's brilliant. So, uh, but it's got a cracked screen. So, how to get this? So let's open it up, as my son would say. You can pause it. It's not in focus, but you can pause it if you need it. There you go. I've gone for the white, just for a change, because I've had a black laptop for three years now. And I was a. I used to have the EEE book. Any EEE fans out there? Yeah. Look, it's like an EEE. But it's not. But it's like it. Look, there's a little tab here. Oh, it's like a big E. Um, so I'll open that up in a minute, don't worry. Paperwork. Micro USB. It's from John Lewis. I'm in the UK. Here's the power pack. Nice and huge on the wall. There we go. Uh, nice packaging around it, and that's it. I think that's it. That's it. That's the whole thing. Now, I'm looking under there for lovely gifts, but it's not. This is it. This is all you need. So, a camera here on this one, which obviously I'm not used to, having been on the T100. Um, Oh, I suppose we're in this. Let's do it. There we go, four feet. Windows. The T100 came with uh, Word built in. I don't think I'll be so lucky this time, but I'll just go to Open Office, get an open source Word. And then. There we go. Oh, I'll tell you what, this um, this looks shiny on the screen, but it's actually got a sort of metally matte feel to it. So if I can, but it marks really easy. But it feels lovely. Um, again, the T one hundred I've got has got a really sort of plasticky top to it. This doesn't come across. It's like. Metal white, white metal. There we go. Okay, and then I can never open the other one with two with one hand. I'll open it with two. There we go. Oh. Now again, John Lewis is a bit naughty because uh, on their website it's got a big shift key. Now, I'm used to the little shift key, but this this isn't the keyboard that's on the John Lewis website. So this is how it really looks. And the other thing I was worried about, I saw some of the reviews, some of the American reviews, and it said that the that the keyboard is really bouncy in the middle, but this this doesn't look too doesn't feel too unlike my T one hundred. Feels about the same. Uh, should we start it up? I should charge it up, shouldn't I? But anyway, that's how it comes out of the box. These um, care for these white things. If the if you've got the black one, they'll be black. But they fall off on my T one hundred. They fell off after about a week. Um, so you might want to keep an eye on those. Um, but again, it's it's got a matte kind of feel to it, which I wasn't expecting at all, which is fantastic. I thought it'd be like a, just a sort of cheap gloss plastic white, but it's actually got a the metallic kind of matte feel to it, and the touchpad is smooth. It doesn't really come across on the on the video, and the the keyboard on the on the reviews online have this is really bouncy, but this is this feels pretty solid. So I'm pleased with that. One final thing I'm going to show you 
is how the screen detaches because again if you've got a t100 you're probably used to a button there you press it and you kind of wrench it off um this it, it does really come off as simply as that and if you want to use it as a tablet that's how it looks i mean i use mine mainly as a keyboard um so yeah and then you just line it up it's much easier than the than the the t100 before and it doesn't wobble too much review said this is pretty solid but it's about the same as the t100 there we go yeah good So that's what the T100HA looks like. If this video has helped you at all, it would help me hugely if you could hit the subscribe button underneath the video and or even the button on the bottom right hand side of the video. Uh, I'll put more T100HA videos up. Uh, I've made another one. I'll put the link in the description of how to get a case for the T100HA. And sorry for calling my old computer just the T100. It was the T100TA. Uh, I've had some other problems and I will put uh, the ways to fix them in the description. It's really easy. Uh, just don't forget to set the clock when you boot up for the first time. And also don't panic if you get a black screen after starting the computer after doing one of the Windows updates, which you really should do. I really recommend you do that. Um, but it will freeze the screen on boot up sometimes and uh, all you need to do is hold the power button down for 15 seconds but i'll put all of that in the description there's also a link to my case unboxing of what a case looks like on the t100 ha and thanks for subscribing thanks for watching i hope this helped in the slightest i really hope it helped you decide and hoped it helps you get another laptop too. Speak soon. Bye.